A little over a year ago, I painted my kitchen cabinet. So I'm gonna take you on a close up tour of how they're looking now after a full year of heavy duty use with four young kids running around in our kitchen. So here's how the kitchen used to look. I have a full post on my blog about how I prep and prime and paint kitchen cabinets, but basically I remove all the doors and drawers and then I lightly sand and prime and then I spray the door and drawer fronts and I hand roll and brush the frames. Um, this kitchen took two coats of paint and I'll show how well it has held up for the last year. All right, so let's take a closer look. We'll start with the upper cabinets. Um, one place I notice often that gets worn on painted cabinets is this area right around the knobs where your hands are grabbing all the time. So I took a closer look at all of mine and so far they're holding up, the paint's holding up super well on all of those, on the edges. And these are cabinets that we open up every single day. So all of those places on the uppers are holding up super well. The one place that I was able to find a nick was up here all the way at the top that I need to touch up. That was from me putting in like some casserole or glass dishes that I just went way too quickly and slammed them right into there. Um, and it did chip it a little bit. So other than that though, you can see paint's holding up super well. One little trick that I had have done is I've put on these little bumpers in places where if I didn't, the cabinet would hit the microwave. So here, it just kind of gives it a softer um, hit, which I think has helped. And the same thing right here, you can see for this one, because when I open up this door, the handle knob now is now hitting that bumper instead of the cabinet. So that has seemed to help. And this over here has held up super well. Um, again, nothing by the handles or anything like that that even needs to be repaired. All right, for the lower cabinets, um, we'll start over here. This is our dishwasher. So you can imagine it can open all the time and it's, it's one of the roughest used cabinet doors for sure. You can see it's kind of dirty from fingerprint marks. We have four kids who are one and a half through eight. So lower cabinets especially, like they take their share of wear and tear here. So um, we definitely live in this kitchen. So as I go through, just kind of keep that in mind. So around this handle, you can see it's holding up pretty well. No paint off there. I noticed a little teeny bit right here that I could touch up as well as this corner. There was something that happened here. I think it was open and someone plowed into it or something, but you can see that that corner needs to be um, prepared a little bit. These lowers are good. This one looks great from the outside, but this cabinet, there's something wrong with the hinges. It actually hangs sometimes. So um, we've had a little bit of scuffing up here from slamming it onto the oven like that and then um, you can see in here this was a mistake that I made while painting or while trying to let them dry um, I didn't let the doors cure all the way and then I guess they got closed I usually like to leave them open for like over a week but somehow this one must have got closed and you can see it took off the paint from there and here because it's stuck together so and a little on the bottom too so that was a mistake on my end um, that I usually try to avoid but you always want to let the doors sit open for at least a week so the paint doesn't stick to one another and pull it off so thankfully it looks fine from the outside but I wanted to show you all the secrets of all the little nicks that we might have all right the last set of lowers is Cabinets we use often as well. Um, the, this side's looking great. Um, there's no, nothing that is has been nicked or anything there. Again, you can see I put the bumper right over here to keep from hitting. And actually you can see the bumper came off and it got a little bit of the paint from the wall on here. And I put that new bumper on 
just like a week ago. So um, I'm sure one of the kids took the bumper off because it was a fun thing to peel off and I just didn't notice. So I would say those are definitely helpful. Um, these are our highest use cabinets of the whole kitchen. This is our silverware drawer and this is our garbage bin. So if we're going to look anywhere for how well it's holding up after a year, this is where we should look. Um, you can see this handle here has a little bit of wear, which I could easily touch up. It's just right on the edge. Um, and then a teeny bit right up here you can see coming off and then a little on this corner all very easy to touch up for sure but still some some nicks and then our garbage cabinet which you can imagine is opened all the time has a little bit of wear right there under the door handle as well and then up here oh my gosh welcome to my garbage um up here you can see that there are quite a few little dings. Um, my kids take their bowls and their plates and they like hit them on this to get them into the garbage to empty them. Um, it is very high use. So you can see that there are some places where I need to fix up. But all in all, when you step back and look, you can hardly even tell that there's flaws. The question I get asked most often is what's the best type of paint to use on my kitchen cabinets? And my answer is hands down alkyd paint. I have a full post on my blog, refreshliving.net, devoted to all things alkyd paint and all the different brands now of different paint companies that have the paint and my personal preferences and recommendations for using it. Um, so if you are thinking about painting your own cabinets or if you're thinking about hiring a contractor to paint them, I would still highly recommend looking into this type of paint as one that is super durable and holds, holds up really well. Overall, I'm super pleased with how well this paint has held up for the last year, uh, especially in such a high use area. So I highly recommend this type of paint as well as doing just a little bit of prep ahead of time to make sure that the paint adheres and sticks for a long time. Um, thanks so much for watching. Head to refreshlearning.net for all things um, remodeling your kitchen on a major budget. Thanks for watching.